thank you for clicking this video welcome to my space so this is going to be a series of life update videos i think about three or four of them where i'm just going to be catching you up with what i just haven't shared with you from 2023 into 2024 this is definitely something you would like to watch so sit back relax and let's have a good time my name is stephanie guys and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform <laughs> beginning of this year guys i had plans like i started the year in fact going to room i had travel plans i had career plans i had life plans i had you know family plans travel wise we went to room obviously with my partner we saw the pope prayed i had an intention in back it was beautiful like we literally lined up everything but i think you only see the pope on mondays not mondays or wednesday but i think it was mondays when they're really early we sat in front like it was a beautiful experience lovely so i started the year that way came back to work and then work was a bit shaky as i told you that's one from my previous videos and i mentioned in one other video as a consultant so we're consulting you know it's just up down looking for clients um, office politics a lot of things and then at some point the job had to come to an end so the job came to an end and i wanted to take a bit of a break in fact one of my travel goals for last year was every other month i'll be out of the country i'll be somewhere with friends or partner and i never intend to travel alone or even if i'm going alone it means i'm going to meet someone there so you know that was my plan next big thing that happened in my life guys i got my british citizenship i actually shared that that's one of my you know videos that did really well people were really happy i shared on instagram it was just beautiful became british like the struggle guys it was long i'm sure i explained everything about that but this was something I really wanted to accomplish before moving to the next stage of my life. I think I did everything in March. I think it was April that the job thing, yeah, that was when we were just realizing that come on, this job is going to be over really soon. Also be pointing like where my friends visited in this whole 2023. So Cassie was one of my friends that visited early in the year. I think she was the first really. So Cassie came, we had a good time. It was her birthday, did stuff for her birthday. You know, just hung out, did a boat ride, did a lot. That same April, Oluchi came and all anywho once they left i think that's when i now decided to travel but i didn't want to travel like you know kilometer kilometer travel like enjoyment travel i wanted to go like a family kind of like calm just chilled vibes travel so i decided to go see my friend olga in germany olga is one of my really good friends stay with olga was just nice calm i was so drawn to her son like her first son davi like i was just holding in the morning he'll come to my room we playing and then some days before I left Olga's house, I was just looking at the pictures I'd taken with David and her other child. And then tears were just in my eyes. That's when I was like, ah, Steph, what's all this? Like, is this the way you love this boy? Is there something else happening? I should just left it. I started messaging Olga from my room because she was in her room. I was in the guest room that I'm really going to miss David. She's like, don't worry, we'll come to David. That's what I call him. We'll come to London at some point. And da, 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 da. So I left Germany. Guys, I got to the airport. I was waiting for Mazi, hubby hubby, to come and pick me up. While I was waiting, I said, let's go into Boots and get the kit just to check. Because as I, I was supposed to my period around the period I traveled. I think that's even why I chose the coronation of King Charles. That's why I actually chose that particular time, just to go. Because as that, I'd always been on protection and contraceptive. So as that March, I took it out. That, okay, well, let's, let's see if we can try. But as I took it out, I said my period came that day, so I was like, which kind of this period didn't really look like the one you used to calculate the um, ovulation and stuff. So March I came and went. So the next month was April, and then I went to um, Germany towards the end of April, uh, May. So while I was there, I now realized that come, well, this thing should have actually come while I was on the holiday. And while I was waiting for him, I quickly went to Boots, got the strip thing, and I did the test, and then I made this video. Guys, I've just landed from um, Dusseldorf, obviously from Germany. I went to Olga. And while I was there, my period was supposed to come. So I literally traveled to my sanitary tower, you know, only for this thing not to come. But like yesterday, I saw like a bit of spotting. Today, too, I was doing, I don't know whether it's my head I was seeing red because even when I was in the swimming pool on Sunday, I was just looking as if, you know, <laughs> there was redness, you know. Only for me to now say, okay, when I was at District of Airport, I said, oh, I want to, there's something I want to buy in the shop. I said boots, but there was no boots there. Only for me to come here, I said, let me just enter boots. Uh, but he's going to pay for parking and guys i, I tried the, in the toilet at the airport and see he's coming now yeah he's not looking like guys i'm going to go and buy another one you know that one that says weeks and stuff but it's more expensive but i'll get it I, this one comes in two shots so i'll probably try to 
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I was like, literally at the car park when I brought it out of the van to look at it again. I was like, I can see two lines, but you know, men now, they, 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 I don't know if they will know two lines. Is, I said, okay, I'll order Amazon Prime with the normal one that will tell you pregnant or not, you know. So I ordered that one, clear blue, and then went home. On getting home, my sister in law just randomly messaged me that she's expecting her brother, her husband, that's my brother, hasn't, doesn't want, hasn't told us yet, Shabo. You know, he's going to tell us soon, but she just wants to share it. As in the same, within 30 minutes or let's say max one hour of me finding out, I was like, oh my God, God actually wants me to have a, would I say partner <laughs> in this thing, but I didn't even tell her me. So I just said, oh my God, thank God that, you know, I was just happy. We shot just gisted and moved on. At the minute, I ordered the thing. Next day, he came. I tested it and he showed him. I showed him. Yeah, so he was just surreal, shy. Everyone was happy, obviously. The thing about <laughs> Nigerians and when you tell them, oh my God, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, and then you have been married for like a minute, they always feel like you have been searching and, you know, oh my God, thank you. That is... Thanks be to God. It's not something we actually like, you know, search for. We wanted it, did it, and, you know, it came. But even your parents, your family will be thinking, but yeah, whatever. My good news was there waiting for me. Well, guys, was I happy? Obviously, I was very happy and grateful to God because when I went to Rome, that was my intention. I think, aside that maybe something about peace in my home and stuff, but that was my major intention. So God had already granted it for me exactly when I tried to get it to get so I was obviously epically and that's, that's like blessing of life. So I was really happy, but guys, did I feel worthy? No, I did not feel worthy because I was like, come, I, I didn't even know the next job I was going to have. You're bringing someone to the world. There's no, so I wasn't even in the mood to share with anybody. And normally, I'm not really a sharer like that. I'm not secretive, but I think I keep things to myself. Yeah, like I don't like to share personal stuff so much, you know, but it's not like um, keeping it a secret, you know, a secret, whatever. So it's not something that I really want to tell people, friends, nobody, even my mom, like I didn't want to tell anybody. So just between me and hobby. So that's how I kept, and then the market was crazy from Silicon Bank. I don't know whether it's Silicon Bank pressure that was just dragging down into the UK. Jobs were just scarce. Like I said, looking for jobs from April, May, June. First interview I got was in July. Like what sector did I not search for job in? I remember, I don't want to obviously call names of the companies, but betting, banking, banking, asset management, like, and it's the same role I was looking for. In the meantime, while I was in Germany, I forgot to mention that I told myself, you know what, I have a, quite a number of friends who are business analysts and they kind of got into the career from trainings and then, you know, just need to here and there, odd jobs, internships and stuff. So I registered in the training, paid for it, it was 12 weeks, six weeks practical, six weeks theory. I started from Germany. From Germany, I was already week two because I think I joined them on week two and then just continued. So that's something I was doing as well as looking for, you know, compliance, which is what I do. And from as so I was training as a BA just to have options because you can't be in the world and, you know, bringing someone to the world, even just being a human being in the world. I want to be a career woman. So I need to work. I have a master. You know, work was just really important to me. So, yeah. So basically, that was me between... Would I say January to probably July when I was, you know, when I started doing interviews and having interviews in the house. And nothing I'll say about the time that I used to have interviews. There was something I noticed that the people in the house when I'm having the interview kind of affected the outcome. I, was, I don't know how to explain it, Shabo. There was just this relationship with the interviews I had with in the house. And I don't know, I don't know. But it was a horrible time. It was a downtime. Like I just kept wondering. Well, it, like finding a new job was never well a new job that befitted me you know was never something i struggled with so i didn't understand what god was trying to show like i did not just get it there was one time hobby just came i was like how are you i just started crying that like i didn't want to you know told me do you know what you have here like people are looking for i now said i understand this is my blessing but then again this blessing go i don't even feel like deserve it because what am i bringing a child to the world without anything you know obviously i have him and everything but you have to have your own as well to get yeah so that was me that was my state the friends that visited me this period around me when i got back from germany nene first of all oh my gosh nene was around she was around when i went to germany so when she came back i saw her again she was pregnant with twins 
I never said I knew I was pregnant for my first so like maybe eight weeks or something. So when we were taking pictures, my mother was like, ah, too pregnant for you, but obviously I wasn't telling anybody. We shall hung out. So in, and then it was the first person I saw friends, you know, from outside the country and then Fumi visited again. I even stayed with Fumi two nights at her hotel. She actually teased me, saying my hips were big. But you know it's a normal teasing at this age now, your hips are big, you're married and everything. The first thing they say, yeah, you should not pregnant well. I like, are you doing a video for I shall just laughed about it and moved on. Another friend I visited was Chica. Literally, once I got home, she sent me a WhatsApp saying her literal words, Are you with child? I didn't deny it. I told her I was 13 weeks. Another friend I visited was um, Chantel. I hadn't even met her. She was a, she's a YouTuber <laughs> in Port Harcourt. She said she was coming to the UK. So I was like, ah, this is someone I, I watch and you know, I wouldn't mind meeting. And Hobby was like, okay, you're going to do something, do you? Well, that's his policy we think naturally. Like, you're going to do something, do you? Well. So I like, okay, cool, I'll take her out, you know, I'll do this. You know, I should have planned kind of a bit of, but she was staying very for very long. So I couldn't even see her all the time because of my real state came back at some point. So she came with shield. Obviously, I, I wasn't sharing that part of things. Even I was in a hotel one time when the, one of the interviews, I had, you know, the first call came. I was actually in her room. We did filming, did everything, hung out and all that. So basically that was how, but that whole period, guys, I was down. And so I was having that with Even though Willie Gwede, actually, Willie Gwede came with his kids and wife. I met them as well. That was another, like, high time. I would just say, made me smile, laugh, you know, come out of the house because I was always just at home. So hopefully just like, go. He even gave me his card, like, just go and, you know, take your, take your, take your friends, have fun. Don't be, you know, just brooding in the house. I don't think I got to depression, to be honest, because depression is a very, very, like, deep word and dark word. But I was down and out, like, I was just, I don't know, what was I even doing on social media? I can't even remember just posting here and, okay. Another blessing that came was the fact that I went to Beyonce concert, posted one of the reels and it went viral. So, my channel, obviously, who has time? It's funny how when you think you have so much time, like, no 9 to 5, you think you'll be able to do your content creation so well. Oh, but that was kind of like my hobby and my something that used to just pull me through. And, but funny enough, I couldn't touch it. I just did one or two reels and then lucky for me, one went viral. Viral up to like 3.5 million views, 4 point something. In fact, right now, that's 4 point something views might be so much. I was on 8K subbies as at June. In August, I was already 20 something K. Right now, I'm at 48K. But the subbies were from real, so it's not like I was really building a community. But then again, I was getting paid, so I was just like, oh God, you just know that your girl doesn't even have energy to be putting into social media right now. And then my 20 weeks scan came, and uh, yeah, Hobby and I saw baby literally chewing during the scan. And baby was eating chick uh, oh, chicken bake. <laughs> So this baby likes chicken bake. Yeah, baby was eating chicken bake that morning because that's what I had in the morning and literally chicken with checks. Oh, I don't know the sex of the baby, but baby's healthy, kicking strong and all that. And it's single, it's not multiple. I started journaling. That's not something I've ever done, but it's not even like I was really journaling. I was just journaling to baby, really just writing, I'll make you proud, just writing different things. Maybe this person said this about you, daddy did this about you. I was just like talking to the baby, just promising that, you know, I'm not going to feel you as a mom and things like that. Yeah. Name-wise, I don't even know what I want to call baby, but I just said I'll take care of the English names and he'll take care of the Igbo names. And yeah, I'm still thinking of a name, but on my notes, I've just been writing blessing, blessing, my blessing, my blessing, I'll pat down the whole place. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's where I'll end this. So since I've already told you guys, I took him dead. So if you wanted to see a so I'm just going to end this video by showing you my blessing. Ah! So yes. This is us right now at 37 weeks and one day. Today's Saturday, so it's every Friday that one day adds. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the rest of it. Okay, um, can you stop? No, don't worry. My scatter is.